I'm still at Eurobike and myself and John are on the lookout for the most aerodynamic tech that there is at this year's show. Now before we show you all the amazing stuff that we've found, make sure you subscribe to GCN Tech and click the bell icon so that you get notifications. And if you're wondering what this is, well, it's called the Alpha 7. It's an aero fared recumbent from Velomobile and it's absolutely incredible. I'm told you can easily hit speeds of 60 kilometers an hour on the flat on this, whereas on a, if you're riding a normal bike, that would be equivalent to riding at about 30 kilometers an hour. It is an incredible machine. <laughs> Just that inside here, you've got two wheels at the front, one wheel at the back. I, I really want to go in one of these. They're amazing. <laughs> Now I'm here with a bike which specialists have said is the most aerodynamic road bike they have ever tested. So Ceramic Speed, who of course have produced the driven drivetrain system, partnered up with Specialized to undergo a load of tests and they compared it alongside a bike of almost identical uh, structure to this one but of course it was fitted with a standard 5339 tooth drivetrain on it and with a normal rear derailleur. Now the end of the test which were quite lengthy showed that the average uh, saving using this bike compared to the standard bike was 3% uh, more aerodynamic across all your angles which equated to roughly an 8 second saving over 40 kilometres. Now the way in which they've got it to be even more aerodynamic is by using this fairing or this drivetrain cover here of course that's going to keep it nice and clean in there too and out of harm's way if you like uh, but that is a big statement to be made the fastest road bike they've ever tested. Just over my shoulder, I've got Peter riding on the BioRacer Speed Sensor concept. Now, what this does, it essentially takes a snapshot of your riding position, and from then on, it can calculate the frontal area, and you can hone your position in, and believe me, check out those watts that he can save. I mean, right now, he's, well, he's going up and down, obviously he's moving around on that bike, but I have seen him save 140 watts just by getting his frontal area just that little bit smaller. This sort of thing, is absolutely great and I reckon riders are going to be using this more and more. Factored in as well is the fact that you can calculate your angles from it as well, so, or sorry you can hone your position in around different your angles so something like the hour record this thing could work oh so well because get this I've been told they can even calculate the differences at altitude too. Oh yeah. I'm over on the Shimano stand and I've seen something that looks well aero but is also absolutely stunning absolutely mega check this out this is the shimano pro vibe aero handlebar it's been around a while now but it's got lighter they've updated it 195 grams now then it's called the super light but something completely brand new is the new pro vibe carbon stem check this out this thing looks absolutely incredible it's designed to work with that aero bar and shimano's other bars. It's said to have an aerodynamically optimised design, but Shimano has tended to shy away from carbon stems in the past uh, and favoured stronger, stiffer ones made from aluminium and steel, but yeah, that, that thing looks absolutely incredible. It's said to weigh just 120 grams too, so pretty light, but this clamping mechanism is absolutely fascinating. The stem is available in lengths from 80 to 130 millimetres and the bar is available in widths from 38 centimetres wide, which is my preference, up to 42. And something else I really like on this display that probably needs a bit of attention is this really, 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 really stunning uh, Pro Bar Tape. It's like in this iridescent green colour and it's nice, it just looks really cool. <laughs> it's just really nice. When it comes to aero stuff, I always think about the look time trial bikes that Onse used back in the 90s. They had some really wild and wacky designs. And one of the great products back then was the Look Ergo Stem. And the new Ergo extensions from Look appear to basically have taken some inspiration from that stem because that stem was highly versatile, highly adjustable. And these little end bits here on the end of the Ergo extensions are actually held in place with a torque screw that you can loosen and tighten and you can then adjust them to your heart's content so you're nice and comfortable. I love that. If that's not enough though, because let's face it, not everybody can ride in the exact position that bars are made in, you can then peel back the forearm pad and underneath there you've got a couple more screws that go into the carbon extension and then you can shorten and lengthen it. And if that's not enough, the forearm angle can be adjusted up to 20 degrees. Eddie Merckx has launched a brand new flagship race bike here at Eurobike. This is the 525 and it ticks all the boxes for new bikes we've seen in 2019. So it's slightly aero, it's lightweight, it's got disc brakes, drop seat stays, more integration. 
you get the idea. But I think it looks rather cool. And it's going to be ridden by the AG2R team in 2020. So you can actually get it in AG2R team colours when it's available to buy. And if you recognise the cockpit, that's because it's from the Ridley Noah Fast Aero Bike. It's the same design with the split spacers and all the neat cable integration. And in this build, the bike is said to weigh around 7 kilograms. This is pretty competitive for a disc brake road bike with clincher wheels on it. Nice. And over there, I've just spotted Oliver Narsen's steel bike that he rode in the final stage of the Tour de France. What are we saying for this? Nice or super nice? Ooh. Right, you don't get much more aero than an aero helmet, do you? And let's face it, the one of Victor Campenarts when he broke the World Hour record earlier on this year is the HJC Adwat helmet. Now, this helmet has been designed to be aerodynamic both with and without a visor. And having worked in the helmet industry before, I know the importance of aerodynamics, obviously, when it comes to developing a TT helmet. And especially, this one doesn't have a particularly long tail to it. When you're riding on the track, generally, riders do tend to go for something with a slight slightly longer tail, which means his position is probably optimised around using a shorter helmet. I know I'm going into quite a bit of details here too, but the fact that he never races with a visor always leaves my head scratching. But the fact they developed it both with and without the visor and those aerodynamic gains to be made leaves me with a happy smile on my face. And well, hopefully Victor doesn't get any flies in his eyes. Who doesn't love carbon wheels? Well, fortunately at the Vision stand, they've got some new ones. These are the new Vision SCs, and the idea is that they fit in between the entry-level Trimax wheels, which are here, and the top-of-the-range Metron wheels. So they're designed to offer similar performance to the Metrons, but in a much more affordable price point. And they do this by having a slightly lower spec hub uh, with lower spec internals in there, which shouldn't compromise the performance too much, but just offer excellent value. But they certainly look the business. Although these are intended to be mid-range, the weight's competitive with the much more expensive Metrons. According to this slide here, it says they're 1,500 grams a pair for this 55 millimeter deep set that are tubeless ready, um, which is, well, it's really competitive. Now, if you want to go full on aero, even on a road bike or on a time trial bike, doesn't matter, then what about the Vision Metron TT crank set? Just check it out. It's a monocoque carbon fibre construction, and the way it fills in that chain ring is so good. Now, there is one downside, I've got to say actually about this one, is the fact that the chain ring is bonded into the carbon, if you like. So if you were to wear it out, you are going to have to well, get a whole new chain set. But the chances of actually wearing that out is so slim because nobody rides a time trial bike that much. Do they? I don't know. Uh, but the inner ring is totally replaceable. Now, the crank lengths come in from 165 millimeters all the way up to 180 millimeters, which is pretty fine indeed. Uh, and it comes with a BB386 Evo axle. So it's going to work with most modern frames out there. What the folks at Satori and Acros have done, well, Acros, by the way, are a manufacturer of various different components, including headsets, very specific ones, quite often, with tiny little grub screws and all sorts of things like that. Right, anyway, enough about this, because what they've done here is actually integrated uh, into a headset spacer an open port, if you like, so you can route your cables or hoses in there, providing, of course, that you've got the room around the actual fork steerer and everything. And then your cables could go down inside the head tube and run internally all the way down. I love things like this because it's such a simple idea and really well executed. Why didn't anyone think of this before? I hope you've enjoyed this look at the latest Aerotech here at Eurobike. And if you have, then please give this video a thumbs up as it will help other people find it in search. And let us know what we missed, but also what you thought was the most aero out of what we showed you. And for more Eurobike content, you can click down here.